six rank organ which meant there were six lots of pipes different pipes different tones and this was at the Commodore cinema in Southsea in Hampshire I used to think it was the finest organ I'd ever play but I was wrong I also tried very much to play like the man of the tower ballroom in Blackpool Reginald Dixon I thought that it had to be that style of playing before you got anywhere at all until I heard a record of an American called Jesse Crawford and tonight this is what the idea is is to let you hear the Jesse Crawford style because we haven't got a record here of him but one thing we can do is let you hear and see how it's done this magical sound of a theatre organ. So I'll start with my signature tune which is Getting Sentimental Over You. <laughs> impression only of me trying to play like Jesse Crawford. Jesse Crawford unfortunately is no longer with us but the style I think will remain. It's my style of playing. Some people say it's too sickly. I love it. So I'm going to play for you a medley of tunes and afterwards I'll talk to you and try and give you the information necessary to play those tunes in the same type of playing that Jesse Crawford would have done. sentimental ballad 
but we can play rhythmic tunes and still use this glissando. I'll just give you one little experiment of this sort of playing and it goes like this and you know the tune I'm sure. <laughs> say to me it's got a very sickly sound when you play these glissandos but quite seriously you can also play them just for serial mu serious music for instance uh, musical comedy hymns I'll show you what I mean by uh, playing first of all something from a musical comedy <laughs>
perhaps you notice a little grace note I put in because it adds that sort of sob like this <laughs> Don't overdo it, because if you do, you spoil it. Too many, and of, spo of course it's spoiled. And now I'm going to play for you a very simple tune. It was written an awful long time ago by Karen Jacobs Bond, and it's called I Love You Truly. Now, the simplicity of this is playing just in two-part harmony and using the pedal once in each bar. So I'll play it through for you and you'll be able to see and you can try it incidentally on any form of organ, electronic organ, church organ or anything else and have the tremolo down and this is how it would, should, should sound. <laughs> starting off. I love you truly. It's simple harmony, two-part harmony, and therefore if you have a go at that, I'll just play you one phrase again. Use 16-foot tibia and 8-foot tibia, or 16 and 4 by itself, not 16, 8 and 4, 16 and 8 by itself, or 16 and 4 by itself, better still, 16 and 2 by itself and then you get this very lovely sound. Sob. should look on the keyboard. Here's a lovely old tune. It was a Bing Crosby hit many years ago when I first started learning to play this theatre organ and it the refrain which, or the chorus is in a very slow rubato and the tune of course is Love in Bloom. Now you'll have to watch carefully how I do this, because it's very difficult to explain. 
I've got to come up with the left hand to complete the bar of the melody, like this. Now, did you get that? I'll play it again for you. On. Before I go any further, you listen to that counter melody, or counterpoint, because that is giving another melody at the back of the melody of the song itself. So we get this sort of a beautiful sound. <laughs> because that is what is termed as open harmony. I'll play those few bars again so that I'm playing in the left hand and the right hand and making it one big beautiful sweet chord like this. <laughs> to play Is It All A Dream, which is, sounds like this. This is where you open up the swell pedal to give it this very quiet start and coming up as a crescendo like something like this. Now we start to come down. Until now, I've been playing glissandos with two hands, something like this. Or like this. Now this time, I'm going to play an old tune with what is known as open harmony. That's a big broad chord with one hand. left hand as the accompaniment.
forward. An English ando. session I'd like to play for you an old favorite of mine it's called poor butterfly now I'll still be playing in open harmony and I'll still be doing the glissandos it's an ideal piece of music it goes back probably yes 30 or 40 years but they don't write them like this anymore so listen to it now and watch my fingers and watch my hands in general play together in open harmony as well as doing these lovely glissandos. So please keep your eye on the piece of music I'm going to play and particularly on the keyboards.
I hope you enjoyed that little session. We hope to bring you more of this glissando style of playing the organ. First you'll find it a little tricky. I certainly did, and I'm no great player. But now I've played so many times in so many different organs, and uh, I find that even the smallest organ, I can still make glissando sound like the big, mighty theater organ. Thank you for watching, and I hope to play for you again.